It's in a stolen car. You're not getting it back. Stop, you're under arrest. Stop, you're under arrest. You're going to get tased. Get on the ground. No. Get on the ground. Stop him. No, get on the ground. Yes, yes. Oh, you got something in his backpack? You got something in his backpack? Oh. No, in his bag. Yeah, I'll talk to you real quick. Oh, what? I saw you going through someone's mailbox. What's going on? What? Oh, hold on. You can't be going in people's mailboxes. What's going on? Why were you in his mailbox? There have always been thieves, and there will always be thieves. But unlike the cunning kind of criminals who manage to steal things without getting noticed, there's also the dumb kind. Some of them keep stealing the same way over and over again. Others return to the crime scene to repeat the offense. And some dare to do it right in front of police officers while carrying a bunch of illegal drugs. You been using today? Hours ago, yeah. Okay, you're gonna have withdrawals? Yeah. Either way, it's always a treat to watch them get busted and attempt to enter into their psyche to uncover what makes them do just what they do, which is exactly what we'll do today. Some people want to be beautiful so much that they try to steal beauty products from big stores like Walmart, hoping they can get away with it. One such escapade ended up ending badly recently. This was a couple who were spotted taking cosmetic products and placing them in their personal bag. The officers were quick to respond and detain the suspects. Stop. In the shade, both of you stop. I'm recording. Sit down right there. You're not free to go. If you take off running, we're going to have an issue. Sit down. Stop, hey, sit down. Do I'm sit down or I'm going to put you down. Can I get my, can I get my dog? This uh, is a truck. Here's what? what's going to happen. I didn't do nothing. Sit down. Look, there's my purse. Sit down, sir, or we're going to have an issue. Okay, I just... On your butt, My ma dog is going to jump please. out the truck. Please. Where's your truck? My dog? It's right oh, wow. there, please. Is it the red truck in yes, front? Yes, yes, he's going to run away. I'm gonna, I'm, here's my sit purse. Sit down and we'll handle the dog. Here's my purse. Do you understand you're, under, you're being detained right now? Yes, I understand. Do you know why? They think you stole stuff from Walmart. I know. Okay, I didn't steal okay. nothing. There's my That's purse. That's fine. Sit down on your booty. Please, please get my dog, please. Oh, we'll take care of the dog. Oh, please, let me get my dog, oh, please. You don't understand. Sit down. Between the my dog is gonna run away, there's nothing in my purse, and I didn't do nothing, the woman is so frantic that you immediately know she's guilty. I mean, why did she leave the dog in the first place? My guess is that they have stolen property in the car, and that she wants to get rid of it before the cops can find the goods. Right or wrong, these two give me the vibe that they're just hustlers who got caught, and now they're scrambling to get out of the situation. Watch as the woman tries to pull a fast one and get away. Please let me get my dog, please. Don't resist, dude, I will. I'm not resisting, man. Well, you guys aren't I, got, getting I, with I, I got a broken oh. collarbone, bud. Please don't, don't, don't twist my arm. Please don't twist my arm. I just have him in front. I got a broken collarbone. I, mean, I, I got a broken collarbone. Ah! Stop! 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 That was pure insanity. I just thought to myself, if I were the cop, I'd probably have to tase one of them sooner or later. Seems like it might have been justified. Both of them were unruly, and they tried to get away the moment they were left alone. And the man started to angrily approach the officer while shouting at him. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. The officer then restrains the woman, who seems to be cooperating a little bit more. Now that she's seen what happened to her hubby, of course, the suspects had their own side of the story. Nobody was trying to resist. Nobody was Dude, running. you wouldn't listen. Nobody was running from you. Nobody was resisting. I just wanted to get my car. I'm trying to tell you, man. I don't know. I was nothing but nice to you people. Stand I up. I know, but stand up. I mean, dude, my legs are oh. up. I'm trying. My legs are numb from you shocking the shit out of me. Sit right here. Sit. You probably noticed the blood on the backside of the male suspect's head. Looks like he hit his head when he was tased and dropped to the ground. For bald guys, even a minor hit can make your head bleed. So, although it was probably a hard hit, it doesn't necessarily mean that he's badly injured. I busted my head, I'm bleeding yep. like We got a rescue coming. He's a, he's a boxer. Ah. Nick, I'm assuming they haven't been searched yet. Hey, uh. don't, don't pull those because... All right, Ken, stand up. Uh, 
You got any needles on you? No, man. Stand up. I, my legs are f***ing down. Dude, I can't stand up. Like, he just shocked the f*** out of me. I lay on the ground and he's still just shocking the f*** out of me. It goes five like, seconds. He can't stop it. My f***ing head. Everything good. You got any needles or anything on you? No, man. I have no needles. I'm messing around. He is f***ing okay. He just shocked the f*** out of me. No, man. I'm not using, like, what the what, what does using have anything to do with this? Like, well, you're you're starting to act all not. I bust my head open, yeah. man. My head is killing me. Like, what does drugs have anything to do with me busting my head open? And I'm, I'm dizzy and my well, legs are shaking. Probably has something from to do with shot. why we got called to a retail theft, right? It usually all ties in together. Since the suspect can't stand up, the officer proceeds to search him while seated. But Ken is behaving strangely, and the cop suspects drugs may be involved. Actually, it wasn't drugs that the officer found in the vehicle. It was something else. What's up, Huck? <sighs> yeah, I thought it was at first. It says DPMS on it. Can you stay make sure this dog didn't hop out? Well, that wasn't your ordinary gun, not by a long shot. Now, I'm no expert, but it looked like an M4 assault rifle. And the way it was carelessly put in the trunk of the pickup truck is just stupid. Any kid could have peeked inside and grabbed it easily. The good thing is, the dog was just fine. In the meantime, the suspects complain about the man's head bleeding, and the officer has a lesson that he wants to teach both of them. Hey, can you see how okay. back my back of my head is, babe? Hi. What? Can you look at the back of my head? Oh, yeah, it's, it's bleeding. It's, it's bleeding. bleeding. Yeah. How many times, you know what would have solved all that, gentlemen? Sir, ma'am? Yeah. What? What would have solved all that? I just wanted to check my If phone. you sat down when I told you to sit down, correct? I, I was just worried about him. What'd I tell you? Didn't I tell you we'd have somebody check on your dog? I'm sorry. And we cannot follow instructions, can we not? I, I'm sorry. I told I, you, I've did never, I not yeah. tell you you guys were being detained? Did I not? What'd I say you were I being just, detained for? Is this black bag yours? Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's, that's what she was carrying. Did I tell you you were not free to go? I told you you were being detained and not free to go. I was even polite enough to put those handcuffs in front of you, was I not, sir? Because of your shoulder injury. Sir, you started walking away, then you came up on me hot because I tried to put her in handcuffs because she started walking away. I, I, all I was doing was talking to you. I wasn't hot. I wasn't aggressive. Yeah. All I said is, You said, don't put her in handcuffs. I said, please don't, don't throw her on her stomach. She has money. I, I have she kept pulling away. There's always two sides to every coin, but here, I think the evidence is clear. The footage shows that the man was agitated when he approached the officer, and he was shouting on top of it. If the officer hadn't been alone, there would have been no need for the taser. But in this situation, it seems completely justified. The officer doesn't want to complicate things by calling animal control for Rocky, the dog. So he thinks about letting the woman go. But that doesn't mean she's off the hook. Uh, my partner's going to search you. You're in custody okay. right now for resisting. I'm not saying you're necessarily going to jail because I didn't have to spray you or tase you or anything like that. Check I might up. be able to, because of the dog thing, I might be able to release you because I don't really want to call animal control for your dog. Right? I'm gonna adjust these since you were pulling away and fighting with me a little bit. I don't care if you take the truck and pound the truck, we have to piece of my dog. I'm gonna randomize you though and I'm gonna ask you some questions. Honestly, go along with it, okay? Okay. When you copy that, you don't necessarily have to take you to jail, right? Yeah. I, I'm not saying I'm not going to, but. Please, I, I've got kids. I, Right, you know, school. The officer is obviously leading the suspect to a confession. He entices her by letting her go and going easy on her, provided she cooperates. After reading her Miranda rights, it's time for some questions. So far, she was adamant that they didn't do anything. I wonder if she'll start being honest. So what what happened over at Walmart where these guys would think you would steal sh I, I don't know. I, mean, I have, I have a package? retail theft in the past. Right, but I, I don't mean, care about your past. I care about right no, now. No, no. You weren't stealing there's nothing gonna be stolen in the truck. No. You can't steal something. Well, I put something in his bag. You have something in his bag? No, in his bag. The Walmart. Yeah. I thought he had a Walmart bag when he saw something, but he didn't. Okay. Because okay. I told him, you need to get out there with the dog, because I was worried about Ruck. Right, it was right, hot. Right. What's the dog? Rucky. 
Rocky, 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 Rocky boy. Well, thieves will be thieves. Did you hear how she casually threw her partner in crime under the bus? She'd do anything to save her skin. And all this time, her dog Rocky was patiently waiting in the car, not knowing that when it's all said and done, he might actually be the one saving his owner from going to jail. What are we doing with the dog? Animal control or? I don't know if the female's gonna go to jail. Okay. Is he a friendly dog? So far, yeah. Hey, buddy! Come on, bud. Who's a good boy? Come here. Come, bud. Come, bud. Come here. Back. Good boy. Good boy. Come on. It's always nice to see animals reunited with their owners. I'm sure that if it weren't for Rucky, she'd be on her way to jail by now. At that point, Kenny was already under the bus, but then his partner made sure he stayed there. I'm sorry. I know. I'm sorry. And what sucks is I can't. I mean, he's going away. He's going away next month. For what? Um, uh, retail theft. What? Yeah, he, had, he took eight years as the Lord, so he's made very as he goes. He's going. You know what I mean? So I think he just got to the point like. So here's the deal. Okay. I'm gonna forward charges for resisting. Okay. Okay. Because okay. I'm gonna be honest. I think if you would have stayed sat down, I know. Then Kenny wouldn't have been tased because Kenny wouldn't have think thought he could have run away, and then Kenny wouldn't have seen me trying to put you on the ground. Yeah. And tased I know. her, and then I, I feel bad. Right? And then ran at me, and then me think that I'm gonna get overpowered or have to fight two people. I guess in my eyes, I was thinking, I'm not going nowhere. I'm not going to outrun you. I guess that's what I was thinking. You know what I mean? I just wanted to make sure he was okay. But, but I told but you. But you told me. I know. It was just happening so quick. You know what I mean? I didn't know what Kenny had done. Right. So I mean, how do you think I feel? You know I, mean? I got this lady coming like, up to me saying, open you were, your purse. And like, you, I didn't say open your purse. No, I, a lady in the store. So that's why she was so amped up. My guess is they were in on it together. However, Rucky saved her. And because Kenny was a repeat offender, he took the blame for the theft. The female suspect was released and was later charged with resisting arrest. Old Kenny, however, got retail theft, resisting arrest, and aggravated assault on a peace officer. Sometimes, police don't need anyone to report a crime. They find criminal activity themselves, just by patrolling areas where crime often takes place. Here's one such situation that took place in Washington back in December 2022. Police officers were patrolling a particularly problematic neighborhood when they stumbled upon a vehicle with no license plates, which was reported to have been stolen. This your car? This your car? Huh? Back, your boyfriend's? Where's your friend at? Is, are they here? Do you have the key? Huh? Who just made it do the alarm? What's his name? You can't tell me his name. Okay. I'm filming too, just so you know. I said I'm filming too, just so you know. If your friend wants their stuff back, they should probably come get it. The officer keeps enticing the woman to reveal more information. If she were smart, she'd keep her mouth shut and leave. But this video is about dumb thieves, not smart ones. So let's see how she messes this up for herself. Why? Are, so you were driving in this car? So where's the guy that was driving it? Somebody else's Christmas card now. Is this your phone? Thanks. Yep, I'm taking that too. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's in a stolen car. You're not getting it back. It's in a stolen car. You're not getting it back. You're not getting the license plate back. You're, okay, it's going with the car. The woman continues arguing with the cop, and he continues teasing her by taking stuff that's supposedly hers from the stolen car and placing it in his vehicle. He then calls the owner of the vehicle to explain the situation. We just watched that chick coming down the stairs. She's talking <laughs> and her, yeah, her license plate was inside of the car, and she's saying that her friend was driving it, but she doesn't know where he is and all this stuff. But, you guys talk? yeah, she's... 
going all over the room. But her license plate for her car was inside of it. And I think she has the, some kind of key because she keeps locking it. So yeah, I'll have, uh, I'll, I can give you all the information for the tow company that is going to come pick it up. The woman wants to come pick up the car so she doesn't have to pay for the tow company, but the suspect might be around. So the police officer doesn't want to potentially jeopardize the owner if an altercation does ensue. Lucky for him, a neighbor has some surveillance footage that might be of interest. She was in the car, right? She was the only one? Yeah. Can I see the video? Yeah. I want to call out 20 minutes so she come here. Oh yeah, so yeah. she's the only one. Yeah. Uh we're gonna go try to find that chick. In this arrest, two things were apparent. First, the suspect tried to flee. Second, she was actively resisting the officer. Of course, she immediately tried to play the pregnant card, but these officers did not care much. I'm Sorry. pregnant, you guys. Stop. Stop. There's nothing in there. There's nothing. Okay. I don't do anything. I'm checking. <laughs> Sis, come on, I got arrested. Even the mother will go Take him to the back of my vehicle. Okay. Sis! Someone's boyfriend, I just got arrested. Face the back window. Sure. I don't know. There's don't no way. Please hand. don't leave. Let go of my hand. No. It hurts. Let it go, it sir. Who's that? Can you get it? No, I don't know who any of these other people are. She called a bunch of people. I didn't call nobody, well, sir. I was waiting. This woman made a really dumb choice when she engaged with the police officer from that balcony, but she seems to be street smart. She gives the impression of someone who's familiar with cops and jail, and she doesn't seem to be phased by this arrest whatsoever. I'm not gonna run, sir. I'm not running. You just ran. What well, because I have PTSD about? over you guys. Hey, 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 come here real quick. Take your hands out of your pockets. Uh, take your hands out of your pockets. Hands out of your pockets. Take your hands out of your pocket. Oh, yeah, I was just making sure because I know her. Okay, I'm wondering why she was running across the street. And how do you know I was her? Like, I just know I'm, she, she's my friend's niece. Okay. And I was wondering why she was like running, like, like zigzagging across the street. And then I see the cops, the officer run after her. What happened? Okay. Do you have your ID on you? I don't. Okay. Do you mind if I get your name from you? Sure. Okay. What happened to her? Uh, she's under arrest. Is she, is she like okay? Like, yeah, she's good. She, I mean, she ran. So. That was just weird, like, to see her, like, running right here. She didn't even live right here. Hey, hey. So you, you have a warrant. Okay, we're not going to take it on. It's a yeah, I know. Petty thing, right? I, I, so. I was, I, well, it's not petty. It needs to be something the officers cut the lady some slack and let her go with a warning not to interfere next time they see the cops arresting someone. Meanwhile, the suspect was placed in the squad car and read her rights. After that, she started to explain what happened, but in a really confusing way. Do you understand each of these rights as I've explained them to you? Yes, sir. Having these rights in mind, do you wish to talk to me now? Um, sorry, I, sorry I was talking bad to you. I was talking shit. So sorry, I was talking shit to you, but it, wasn't That's fine. Really, but it was true. You said you know why you're under arrest? Yeah, because I have a possession of a stolen vehicle, sir. Is that which, right? Which vehicle is stolen? The one that you came, the one that, the blue one, the one that has my belongings inside of it. The one that has all your stuff in it and the one that and has that license plate of yours in it? That license plate of mine, yes. I didn't put it to use it. I just picked it up from my house to go, because I'm rebuilding my Magnum again. Okay, so where did you get that car from? Um, A friend of mine let me uh, borrow it. He was in Fife. They're in Fife right now. Allegedly, a friend let her borrow the stolen car. However, then she's asked about her friend's name. Her answer tells you all you need to know about the kind of people she hangs out with because they sound like the dangerous types nobody should be around. Okay, and so, who yeah. was it that gave you, let you borrow it? Um, I don't know if it's a real name, but I can't tell you that I'm going to get in trouble. So when he borrowed it, did he give you a key? Mm -hmm. huh? yes, did he, he give you a key? He gave it to me um, and also... He gave permission and gave me the key. He gave you the key? Yes, he did. Where's that at? You have it. It's the one that you had in your hand? Yes, that's the key. What did he tell you about the car? Um, he said he just bought it. That and we bought like, we bought six cars. 
And that was one of them. Bought it from somebody, I'm not sure exactly. Does he buy a lot of cars all the time? Well, yeah, I've had 16 of my cars stolen. The suspect continues to explain how she and her friend buy and sell used cars and rebuild them. Supposedly, she usually checks the car's background before purchasing it, and she used to buy only from dealerships. This time, they bought them from the street. I can't say for certain, but this sounds to me like an organized group that deals in stolen cars. You didn't know this car was stolen? No, I did not. I don't buy stolen cars. Okay, so what led you to believe that this car was not stolen? Um, I didn't care at the time, and I was desperate to go home because I missed Christmas. Okay. And I just wanted to go home and see my kids, drop off the gifts, which I needed to get back with them. It's in another stolen car, I'm pretty sure. That you were driving? No, no, that somebody else was driving. Uh, we were supposed to buy it. <laughs> we were supposed to buy it, and we were just driving it. it. Took them a day back, day to get it back, and now my stuff, my my other personal stuff, are in there too. So when I asked you who was driving the car, how come you said it wasn't you? Um. He got her all right. Her answer was that she didn't want to get in trouble, so she probably knew the car was stolen. Think about it. She knew the vehicle was stolen. There are several more potentially stolen vehicles. Her personal things are in at least two of them, and there's video proof of her driving one, alone. In the end, however, she was charged with resisting arrest only, and lucky for her, not with possession of a stolen vehicle. All crimes are stupid, right? But there are dumb criminals, and then there are some really dumb ones. A woman named Amanda was caught stealing a vape from her local store. Then she decided to come back to the same store the very next day and try stealing again. The store called the cops, and this is the moment the female officer arrived at the store. Hi, Herb. How you doing? I just came to get some stuff. Honey, how are you doing today? Being a cop is such a hard job. <clears throat> you can give it to your stuff, Amanda, and I'll Thank you. We'll chat I appreciate your service. All right. I appreciate you saying that. Oh, you are strong. Mm -hmm. And so is he. There we go. Right? Meet one of my husbands. Oh, that's one of your husbands? Yeah. I put two and two together. I told her I was coming to get her baby. I'm guessing she's not going to have any money for that stuff. And... She's getting no trespass from here as well, from yesterday's incident. So if she doesn't have money, I would probably not waste that guy's time anymore. <laughs> Did her money come through? I don't know. That I'm you... just going to pay for the day. Well, so yeah. she has like 900 lighters and like he's been ringing up stuff for... Yeah. We can't make her go. I was just about to say there's a weird vibe coming from the suspect, like something's wrong with her. The way she's acting tells me she's under the influence of drugs or alcohol, or both, or she might suffer from a mental condition. Judging by what her quote-unquote husband was saying, I was right. You're right. Because, so, I think I spoke with her mother as a, Officer Conley and her sisters. Um, her mother's a it her would, mom wants to drag her to church and have people hold her down. Yeah. Her she needs to take her medicine. Yeah, and and I have some located. I'm getting. I'm cutting down because these ones, they're too high of a dose, and it makes you. It's, it's not a healthy dose. Right. Let's wait for it. And I'm pregnant. I need to cut down on this stuff. So right. I'm doing That's a good thing. Yeah. Oh man, I hate it when kids are involved, even unborn ones. If she really is pregnant, which I hope is not the case, that kid is about to have a tumultuous life one way or the other. The officer soon tells the clerk that Amanda has not been trespassed yet, so they don't have the grounds to remove her, but she might give them a reason real soon. And then the animal Indians used to use marijuana more than anybody else in the world for many reasons. Thank you, Jim. 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 What's up? What's going on? Can I put my hand on you? No. Sorry. Tatanka! 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 I want that watermelon strawberry. Strawberry that he saw. Are weird. You're coming here. Like, so that's why. But I told him I was like, after this, she's not coming to be here again. Can I get another one too? No, I need to because they run out to a bit. 
And now we come to the beginning of the hard part. The officers have to confront her. Judging from her mental state, this will most likely not go down easily. No matter how calm and gentle the officers are, there's no telling how Amanda might react. I'm the only thing safe for pregnancy. Amanda. I'm... Okay, you need to calm down, or I'm gonna be honest, you're gonna end up at the jail. You're gonna end up at the jail. Okay, well that's great. Then I'll have a day off, I guess. Good. Right? I'll take care I'm of you. I'm not gonna... I'll protect Amanda. you. I don't know Amanda. your name, and I will never okay, turn my back on your you. Okay, you so... I hope you have We're a great day out. and you continue to do your job. Right. She seems nice, doesn't she? Well, that's just on the surface because the moment her friend and the female officer try to get her to leave the store, she starts going ballistic. That is coming home with me. And yesterday you didn't have any money. So I'm guessing today you're not going to have any money for that stuff. And he already paid for your babe. So, I mean... He seems to be What do I got to say to make you get out of my life? Okay, then leave. I have the power. I have the yeah. power of Baraboo. I can sue Baraboo. Okay, Amanda, I'm going to warn you one last time, and then I'm... The Ottawa will sue you. Are you going to listen to him or not? My husband will sue the Baraboo School District. Okay. That has nothing to do with me, Amanda. You're right. Okay. This is the thing with people suffering from mental disorders. They can go from zero to a hundred in a split second and then come back down again just as fast. It's very difficult for an average person to deal with that kind of behavior. And Amanda here, well, she was just getting started. Other than I am trying to survive. My son is important. My daughter is important. My babies are important. My sisters are important. My mothers are important. My brothers! Time to leave. It's time to leave. Okay, I'll listen to you, Conley. I'm sorry. It's time to go. No, I listen to police officers. Let's go. No. No! What's your name? Hey, bud. What's what? your name and who Come are here. you? Come over here. Just go this way, please. Uh, Do you want to just go around? Do you know her? Sorry. Thanks. You don't? Okay. All right. I like your right. tattoo. Are you, are you going to go home? No. With him? I'm going to stay right here okay. until I have everything okay. from this store. Wow, it just dawned on me that Amanda would make a really good villain in one of those superhero movies. Am I right? The officer tries to do this calmly one more time, but she also draws the proverbial line in the sand. That means they will not allow her to behave like this for much longer. 236. Yeah, you might want to head this way. Okay. Again, Amanda, we're giving I you I promise! The, we're giving you all of the options. Don't to calm make down. me say it! Don't man, I don't want to say it to you! But I will curse you and beat your ashes! I'm... We're done. Okay, okay. you're under arrest yeah. for disorderly conduct. You're under arrest. Okay, we're done. I'm suing you. Relax, don't. Get your don't. hands off me! Don't. I am never a man! Get your hands off me! Help! Don't. Don't. Help! Get the taser! Oh, I will s you! I will s I will s you! Amanda, you! Or I will take the season! Get your the season! I'm serious! My billion! You're hurting my billion! You're hurting my billion! Okay, then stop resisting. Paul! 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 Paul
As sorry as I feel for people with mental disorders, I sometimes feel more sorry for the people who love them. You see, for Amanda, this all makes sense. Her rage makes sense, her words make sense, but Herb, he looks crushed. He just watches as someone he cares about spirals down into self-destruction, and there's nothing he can do, and not much of what she's saying makes any sense right now. Have a seat. Amanda, sit down. No! Amanda. No! You're gonna f you up. Man. No! Get your hands off me! Or I will show you! I am a liar! I don't know this man. What is your name and badge? Give me your name, Liberty! God, that's not your name! H something G! Okay. Herb! Hop in! Herb! Hop in, Amanda! Let's go! You are evil! I am not Navajo! Let's go! Have a seat! Amanda, hop in the car, please! I am a Navajo baby in me! Have a seat! Amanda, please get in the car! I am a mixed breed baby in me! Amanda, hop in! Let's go! Let's get in! No! Amanda, you need to get in the car! No! I'm very dead! Stop! Get the car. Get in the car. Get in the car, Amanda. Have a seat, and we won't have to do this. You just hurt me, okay. and I have videotapes. Stand up. Have it. All on video. Uh, Stand up. Car, please. Uh, Let's go. Oh, you. Get in. Let's go. You are going to purgatory. You Let's go. are on the purgatory list. Amanda was taken to jail, and she was charged with resisting or obstructing as an ordinance and disorderly conduct. The latter charge was dropped, but she was found guilty of resisting and was fined $330. That clip was a little jarring, right? So let's get back into some more action. On July 13th, 2023, the Menominee Police Department responded to a flock alert of a stolen vehicle from Milwaukee. Flock is a license plate registration system. And in this situation, it alerted the police that a stolen BMW had appeared at a Woodman parking lot. Allegedly, it was stolen in an armed robbery and the suspect was likely armed with a handgun. After identifying the suspect on surveillance videos, it was time to find him in the store. Show me your hands now! Put the stuff down! Show me your hands! Drop the stuff! Go to your knees! Now! Get on your knees! Get on your knees! Now! Get on your knees now! Get them! Get on your knees! Get them! 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 Get Some might say the officer was trigger happy, but actually, he fired the taser the moment the suspect reached for his pockets. This was clearly a dangerous situation, and the taser deployment was fully justified in my opinion. After that, the suspect became cooperative, although probably a little bit bruised as well. You got a gun on you? No. All right. I got a gun on you. Oh, stone car is taken. One, two, three, ready? <laughs> Lift your hands up a little bit, thank you. you want to stay with this? I think we're the bag. Where was the, uh... I'll, I'll, do I'll the just, bag I'm just going to collect it. You want to do that? Otherwise, I'll get a bag you up front. Sure? Yep. Right. You spread your feet a little bit for me. The suspect was patted down and then escorted out of the store. He said that he came with another person, but did not want to identify them. I don't think the officers believed him. They performed a more thorough search and then waited for EMS to evaluate his injuries. As the medics are doing their thing, the officers go through the stuff from the suspect's pockets, hoping they can identify him. I see if he has an ID. Yeah. We're going to mess with the money right now. I'm going to doubt it. Nah. Three cell phones, two thousand dollars in cash, with no ID. Four cell phones. Four cell phones. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna guess you're gonna find a lot of dope in the car. 
Actually, it probably won't be you. The Kevin TV comes out here. Yeah. Which I guess it will. The notes say hold for fingerprints and stuff. The suspect mentioned that his girlfriend came in a different vehicle and he was supposed to give her the keys. But the officers have trouble finding out where she is or if she's even there. In the meantime, they managed to get a positive ID. Why do we need him? That's him. Sorry, we only do favors for people who don't fight with the police. Huh? Came in a different car, so unrelated. We watched, we watched the video, she did not get out of that car. Nobody else. Oh. Did you see the video of Sikorsky tasing the guy? No. Okay. I suppose we'll need to request that from them too, huh? We're supposed to try and get any of the available video? Probably. 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 However, he wants to give a key, she wants a key, and she claims to the house. See, I'm thinking no to. Hell no. Hell everything, he's got everything he's got with him, right? He wants it? The girlfriend. I'm thinking no, right? I agree with that decision. Because, I mean, we don't know who this dude is. Yeah, we don't know what the house key is. We don't know what that key is. House keys can look like right. car keys. I'm just, I'm, I was getting soft for a second thinking I was going to give it to her. So. <laughs> getting soft? Who have you become? <laughs> The officer finds the suspect's girlfriend and explains that she can't get the keys. As it turns out, stealing the BMW was not his only crime. He had five valid warrants and open cases and additional charges for bail jumping. So, oh, I, that's the best I can do for you, is I can offer you a little bit of hope in an hour or two, but that's the best I can do. And again, I'm not making any promises because honestly, most of this investigation isn't mine. It's going to be Milwaukee's. So yeah. He's got a number of warrants for his arrest, which we'll take. Yeah. But Milwaukee is, might even be taking him with him. I'm not sure. So about an hour or so, Calmanami Yeah, and, I would say in about an hour or so, Calmanami Falls, and we can give you an update on where he is. Well, maybe even more because we're going to the hospital first. Well, the problem is, is that they might want to take him into custody for uh -huh. this. His girlfriend suddenly changes her story and says she's just a friend, and she's reluctant to give the officers her information. She probably just doesn't want to get involved and have her name appear in the case. The officers then discuss what the next steps are. Everyone, everyone's got a little bit of stuff that they're doing and helping out with, so whatever. I think Nate's going to handle kind of the video and getting documentation and doing his stuff as far as... Because Nate told me they watched the video from him coming in, him being That's the only it, yeah. one leaving until I came. Right, and you can so, see, we can have this 28 So he'll dictate to that stuff. I wouldn't even hold off on the arrest because they might want to take him for all five sure. warrants. Well, just name entry, yeah. at least, but yeah, I'll wait for the arrest entry then. Um, you really think they would do that? Yes. Really? If they think he's involved in the armed robbery, they'll take him and they'll take all the warrants. A full investigation determined that the suspect was in possession of a modified handgun, cocaine, fentanyl, and a large amount of cash and cell phones. He was booked on several charges and later transported to the county jail. I guess that's what happens when you're dumb enough to flaunt your freshly stolen BMW while having five active warrants for your arrest. Some people steal cars, others steal cosmetics, but then there are the ones who steal clothes. One such person went to a cheap Maggie store and stole a pair of shoes. The manager contacted the Hoboken Police Department to report the crime. You're watching as Officer Daniel Grossi approaches the manager of the store on Washington Street. You called? Yeah. Okay, she's in here? Yeah. What did, what'd she take? She stole the... Uh, you want to sign a complaint against her? Yeah, okay. she's waiting. She don't want, she don't want to give me the Uggs. The Uggs? Uggs shoes. You have video of it or no? You observed it. I have a video, but she's waiting, you know. Okay. All right, 21. The uh, females inside the Sparrow Wine and Liquor Store, uh, we also have the victim here. Officer Grossi was accompanied by his partner, and the moment his partner saw the suspect, he immediately recognized who she was. Apparently, she was involved in a prior incident not so long ago. Come on, Alicia. That's so mean. I have the simple dollars. Come on. Damn, boy. Why they don't want to serve me? Go outside. Go outside. That's messed up. Does she have a bag back there? Uh, no. No, I don't have nothing. Where's the gold? God, man. Where'd you get those? They gave it to me myself, just when I had my son back. Come on, get off of me, please. You gotta Stop. relax. Stop. Get off of me, please. No. no.
The suspect's name is Alicia Noel. She's a 37-year-old woman from Hoboken, but to me, she sounds like she's 67 at least. I guess being homeless can take its toll on a person. When she was escorted out of the shopping center, Alicia was wearing Ugg shoes worth $24.99. Homeless or not, don't you think it's kind of dumb to get arrested and go to jail for less than $25 worth of goods? What, uh, your video? I have, and she left her little shoes in the store. What shoes? Her shoes. So she took those off and put, okay, all right. Are these the ones? Yeah, that's mine. Simply or why? He gave them to me. All right, it's two five, show me. No. Yes. Yes. You're gonna no, place my under arrest. Was there. No. For shoplifting, yes. No. You want to sign a complaint? You say right? No, I'll give okay. back to you. I'll give all right, twenty one. They want to sign a complaint. We're gonna have to give them ten two five. I told you in the store, give me the I shoes. I give back to you. You didn't listen. That's why. I give back. Give me the shoes. Can you do me a favor? Um, they're good. We're gonna bring her up. Yep. Just go back with him. Uh, she apparently she might have left the property there. Okay. Just get his info, and if he has any other footage, she basically just took shoes, flip took the shoes off and put them on her feet. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm sure you have it on. I was starting to feel sorry for Alicia, but now I can see she's just a swindler, and swindlers end up in jail sooner or later. The store owner could have cut her some slack, but there comes a time when you have to draw the line with these kinds of con people. Otherwise, they never learn, and they keep taking advantage of people. And if you listen to her speak, you'll probably pick up that there's drugs or alcohol involved, just like I did. I have my stuff in the shelter. Okay. With someone oh, before yeah. dinner starts. I'll be, uh, HR, I gave back the shit. Right. Okay, I took it. Okay. Not gonna lie. Okay. Fine. Plus. So simply can I have my damn other chocolate and get my stuff back from whoever's holding my stuff. Yeah. What? Where's your bags? I don't. Uh, D Dave is waiting. He has all my stuff in the shelter. I came out here just to damn take the damn shoe. Not gonna lie. I just like to know something. Whatever. The officers explain that the other officer will get her stuff from the store and they'll be brought to jail. However, she wants them now. And then she asks the dumbest question ever. Oh, I need my chocolates now. You're not getting them now. You're placed under arrest. But the thing is, why did I give back the shoes then? Because that's you their shoes. You okay, stole so them. Can I get mine back? You are gonna get them back. I just well, explained when? that to you. After we get you to headquarters. All right. Well, that's not happening. You're under arrest. Oh, I should have never given it back. Then. We were gonna get it back regardless. But still, miss, that's not gonna be fair. You can't steal stuff, miss. That's it. All right, man. So I'm gonna be barefoot walking like this. You're not barefoot. You got socks on. Can I make it quick? Ten, twelve. Uh, sit in the car, please. Equipment. Don't make this harder than it is. We're gonna get up to headquarters, process you, and then release you. Good. Okay. If they even use my I'm gonna f you. I'm gonna f you. All right. Alicia doesn't seem to regret stealing the boots. The only thing she regrets is having to give them back. Once she's sitting comfortably in the squad car, she starts arguing with the cops or whoever she's arguing with. Just hold this for now. Yeah. Now I know where to get the other boots. You know what? You don't I just had her yesterday. For what? Two one. Two one. Yeah. Taking up uh, this female two five, start a mile six seven four two four point four. We're just gonna process you, fingerprint you, photograph you, generate a complaint. If you got no warrants, you're gonna get released, okay? You're in your socks for now, but that's because you stole the shoes. Alicia is escorted to jail to be processed. And aside from pulling away a few times, she's generally been cooperating. Judging from the sound of her voice and by how slowly she moves and speaks, it's safe to say that she wouldn't get far even if she tried to run. When they get inside, it becomes apparent that she dislikes the female officer a lot. How you have to work? That is so ridiculous, bro. Right. She makes whole thing look ugly. All right, go anyway. in with her, okay? Just real quick, she's gonna search, okay? Come on, babe. 
After being searched and processed, Alicia was charged with shoplifting, but they didn't let her go like the officer said they would. She was transported to Hoboken University Medical Center to obtain a medical clearance and subsequently was remanded to the Hudson County Correctional Facility for incarceration. Porch pirates are becoming notorious these days for snatching packages off people's porches. But one crook decided to go a step further and steal people's mail. We're back to Menominee Falls for this one, as an officer on patrol spotted someone digging through people's mailboxes. Hey, man. We gotta talk to you real quick. Oh, what? Well, one, I saw you going through someone's mailbox. What's going on? Nothing. Oh, hold on. You can't be going in people's mailboxes. What's going on? Why were you in his mailbox? The, the, the door was open. I shut the door. I yeah. don't got oh. no mail on me. I don't. Okay. Where are you heading to, man? To um, Calhoun in Lisbon. Okay. Well, I would serve for you. That's where my girl stays. Okay. So. Well, right now I'm detaining you till I know what happened with this mailbox. Okay. So you're not free to go. I'm telling you that right now. All right. If you're gonna be Weird about it, I gotta put you in handcuffs. Okay. So yeah. instead, we can have a conversation. Do you have a do you have license on you, an ID on you or anything? Yeah, at that. Oh man, I've had experience with users before, and I'm pretty much sure this guy's a dope fiend. The droopy, glassy eyes, the slurred speech, and looking like he might fall asleep any minute. All telltale signs of heroin use. I might be wrong though. Let's see. The good thing is, is that he manages to find his ID real quick. Okay. So Christopher, are you still living on uh, 14th Street Lower? Nah, that's my brother's house. It's your brother's house? Yeah. Okay. So you've been walking from where? 90, I got, I, I got into it with my buddy on 93rd and Carmen, so. Okay. Yeah. What's the phone number for you, man? Uh, All right, give me a second. You're gonna hang out with my partner here. He was looking at that, that last mailbox that's just north of us. Yeah. So I haven't patted him down. No, I haven't patted him down yet. But I'm gonna run him real quick, just make sure he's in once. Mm -hmm. I'm probably gonna pat him down. Right. Uh, see if he's got the mail on him mm -hmm. or anything. I didn't see him taking anything. Just so I keep your hands out of your pockets for me, please. The second officer continues questioning the suspect about the contents of his bag. Supposedly, he took the bags from home, and on his way to his girlfriend's, he also bought a donut in Quick Trip. Although the mention of the donut likely made the officer salivate, he managed to keep his composure. When the other cop comes back, it's time for business. Well, here, here's the thing. You do realize you got a warrant for your arrest from Racine, right? No, I don't. No, well, you do. So I'm going to let you finish up that cigarette quick, and, and uh, unfortunately, i got to take you into custody, man. All right. How much is it? It's like 200 some bucks. I'll let you make phone calls, I'll let you call your girl, I'll let you do whatever. You got a buddy, you got a friend, you got family. I, you know, like I said, it's not just a phone call. I'll let you make phone calls. Well, I can't just do a signature bond? Nope. Wait, wait. For $200? That's we're seeing. It's not us, man. Well, can I make a phone call then? Well, I'll let you make some phone calls when I'm back at the station. Not right oh. now, okay? Uh, uh, like I said, I, I I think I'm doing you a solid by letting you fi finish up your grit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's the heroin keeping him down or what, but this is the chillest suspect I've ever seen. He's so calm and relaxed, even though he knows he's going to jail, and he knows he's about to be searched. He also knows all the stuff he has in his pockets. The craziest thing is, is that the warrant was for a dumb traffic violation that he didn't take care of. So now, he's gonna be in handcuffs. All right, man, just turn around, face that tree. Charlie, if you're trying to you are behind your back with a 300 number, just make sure. All right, man, I know these cuffs don't feel good, but are they hurting you? All right, before I start digging my hands into your pockets or anything, is there anything I need to know about? I don't want to get stuck with any needles or anything like that. I ain't about that. Yeah, there is. There's needles? Yeah. Okay, what are we talking about? In this pocket. In this pocket right here? Yep. The officer gently looks in his pocket but can't retrieve anything. Then he gets his gloves and starts pulling stuff out. 
It turns out this guy had a gazillion pockets and something suspicious in virtually every one of them. In his pants, he had needles for his heroin use. Have you been using today? Hours ago, yeah. Okay, you gonna have withdrawals? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. There's nothing in there. Except for this little pill. That's just a, that's not illegal, it's a dormant pill. Well, we're gonna have to figure out what it is. It's a, it's a dormant pill. <laughs> What's a dormant pill? They mix it. It's not illegal, they sell that at the store. What does it do? It, it makes it so it's not so strong. Makes the, the not so strong? Yes. Dormant pills are actually sleep aids. I think that's the only legal thing this guy had in his pockets. Next, the officer finds the cooking equipment, and he gets a little personal with the suspect. This is your cooker? Mm-hmm. Bro, how long you been addicted? Man, I got shot in the chest, man. I was doing so good. I had damn near 100000 in the bank, legitly. And get shot in the chest and everything went downhill. Got addicted to perk 30s, the doctor. Uh, I just, I'm having a rough life, man. You no know, mom, my brother just hung himself. And, you know. You sure you're not homeless, man? I am homeless. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, like, I'm looking at all this stuff. This is, this is what homeless, I am. This is what homeless people do. I'm homeless. I wouldn't be surprised if this guy was telling the truth. He's not like the average junkie who would lie through his teeth to get free. He's probably being so honest because he's completely out of it right now. And he doesn't even lie about having drugs. Yeah, obviously I do got a little You do? Yeah, not, not but it's personal use. I wish I could smoke my last one. <laughs> Can you lie to me, my mom? Uh, I'm no. being incorporated. I, I, I know you're being cooperative. I thought I did pretty solid by letting you finish up the one you had. Well, by the time you're looking, I can finish it. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll, we'll see where we're going, man. Uh, we'll, see, we'll, we'll see what's going on. I like say I appreciate you being cooperative. Yeah. I'm glad it didn't come to, to, to blows between you and I. No, I, I don't be about that, man. Chris is really the happiest criminal ever. He's not aggressive, he doesn't fight the cops, he doesn't even mind going to jail. I guess life on the streets is hard as hell. But one thing that confuses me here is that he doesn't even care about the withdrawal he's about to experience. And that's described as the worst feeling in the world. In addition to everything he's supposedly been through, he also fought and beat cancer. So what's a little jail time gonna do, right? I just, I was fighting cancer two years ago. So you've stayed. been shot in the chest, yeah. you've been fighting cancer. Yeah. Jeez Louise, man. Like the stuff I With the suspect's help, the officer finds the <laughs> as well as some crack pipes. It's up in this pocket. This right pocket? There, yeah. It's only like twenty dollars worth of stuff. It's up in there, you unscrew it. Nothing serious. can be pretty serious, man. You don't know what it's cut with. Yeah, yeah. You don't know if it's going to be your last shot, lie. man. Out of 15 years, I knock on wood, I never od now one time. Dude, you do crack, too? You smell crack, too? After being searched, Chris was placed in the vehicle. On his person, they found hair prescription medications, and also a bunch of drug paraphernalia. The officer then strolled by the mailbox and found two missing envelopes. Even though I think they kind of liked Chris, the officers decided to do their job right, charging him with mail theft in addition to drug and paraphernalia possession. Some thieves just care about getting free stuff by stealing. Others, though, they want to do it in style, like our next group of suspects, who drove in a black Mercedes to try and rob a beauty store in Naperville, Illinois. But this trio of would-be thieves did not know that the cops were already there, waiting for them. This will be a day they'll remember for the rest of their lives. Camera's up. Camera's up. Yes, they can. Uh,
You got really small wrists, okay? Okay, and I'll try to Okay, okay, okay. Could I get my phone? Just my phone. Yes, please. Okay. You don't make the rules here. You just stole from this place. Okay. Patrol officers heard that people in a Mercedes committed retail thefts in not one but two Ulta Beauty stores. As they patrolled the store on Aurora Avenue, they noticed the vehicle in the parking lot and observed three suspects exiting the Mercedes and entering the store. After confirming that it was the car involved in other thefts, they waited for the suspects to come out. They were holding bags, presumably with stolen goods, and they hopped in the vehicle. As you saw, before they had a chance to flee, the cops surrounded them. They did try and get away and managed to hit a cop car in the process. What's that? Yeah, they came out with three bags. Hey, boss man. I'm, I'm on body cam. Hey, we're at the Alta. We uh, got some retail thievers in custody. Uh, they hit one of our cars. So I'm just letting you know. Yes. Yep, we have three in custody. Adam, Adam, I just want to call my mom. Are you injured? How old are you? I'm 19. 19? She is pregnant. I just want to call her. Don't call your mom? No. I said I just do. Do want okay. to call her to let yeah, her know what's going on. The situation seems pretty calm, and the officers secure the suspects and get them ready for transport. It appears that all three of them will be arrested for theft, but the young girl has a problem with that. That was quick. Do we want to secure him? Yeah. Him in the back of um, he's just confirming all three. Yeah, we can, uh, we can probably throw them in cars, though, because there's PC. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to... Can I... What's going on with her? You understand that you're under arrest? Everyone. Yeah, okay. I, I, I do understand okay. that. I just want to know, is she under arrest as well? Yeah, everybody's under arrest. What's she under arrest for? What are you under arrest for? Are you unclear? Yes, I do want to know what all I'm being charged with right now. Is that right. fine? You're not being charged with anything right now. You're, un okay. you're under arrest right now for theft. Okay. Because you poor guys steal. And she gonna be under arrest for theft too. It's not clear why the girl was asking about her friend, but the fact of the matter is that all three of them participated in multiple thefts. So there's no way any of them walk free, especially because there's probably a lot of surveillance footage which clearly shows them committing the crime. The officer reads her her Miranda rights and then confronts her about the theft. So, you guys went in there and stole some stuff. You guys don't have any receipts yeah, no, for the no, stuff no, no. you just brought out? And you guys have been stealing from other places today? Like, we, we just tired of it. That's why we stopped you finally. All right, you guys all went in, you guys all stole stuff, you guys all brought up today. You guys all came out back. So. The video is muted for some reason, but it's obvious that the girl's trying to come up with some lame excuse for the situation. My guess is she was trying to blame the theft on her friends, but this cop isn't buying it. So it's hard to say that you, she didn't know what was going on. You guys have been at three different, four different stores. Or is it five? How many stores have you been to today? Okay. This doesn't actually require an interview because everything's captured on video and there's people that do this all day, loss prevention. Yeah. So, so it, don't, it don't matter. Let it's retail matter. theft. Okay. Have you ever been arrested for retail theft? No, this is the first time. Have you ever been arrested? No? Okay. Have you so the process is you get handcuffed, you get taken to our jail, you get fingerprinted, photographed. You get charged with retail theft, you have to pay people back, you have to give your prop the property back. Okay. Uh, you get caught again, it's gonna be a felony. Today might be a felony because of the amount that you stole. Nineteen with your first felony? That's a bad day. That is a bad day. This cop was just being real, probably more real than he was supposed to. Listen to this strange piece of advice he gave the young woman. You shouldn't commit felonies. Don't commit felonies in Naperville. Okay. Or other towns. Yeah. Go to Cook County. I heard they don't uh, prosecute anything. I, I also, heard. Um, can you search? Um, 
Yeah. You're not injured and all that. So why'd you run into our car? Just trying to get away. Is that your car? No, it's, it's not. a car stolen. No, the car not stolen. Whose car is it then? It's my mom's car. Your mom. Hang on one minute. That's Well, three drawing, and then we're gonna take. Uh, I just want to figure out what's gonna happen with the car. Hmm? What's gonna happen with the car? It's gonna get towed. Okay. So okay. Mm -hmm. Possibly. Where to? I don't know. Possibly what? Possibly seized. Seized. Okay. Seized. That means if it's seized, it means that we're gonna take the car. We're gonna sell it. Can. What's yes. your first name? Can, can there be any way we work to well, the car? We can, we, we can talk about that. Yes. We'll talk what? about the jail. By the looks of it, Mom will not appreciate her Mercedes being taken by the police and then sold off. So maybe doing a stylish theft driving Mom's Merc wasn't such a great idea. As the female officer searches the woman, the male cop asked if she's a drug addict and if she might carry needles in her pocket. But other than a dollar and sickness medication for her pregnancy, she's pretty clean and her stuff gets put in her bag. Oh, yeah, what you got? Thank you. Thank you. Cooperation's gonna go a long way, okay? Thank you. Yeah, that's your sister? Younger sister? Older sister? It's all right, you make mistakes, right? Like I told her, nobody's injured. Okay, this is a theft, right? It was a dumb yes, but we're gonna learn from that. That's what today's all about. The female officer then asked about the pregnancy. It turns out that the young woman is six months pregnant and expecting a boy, but the look on her face says it all. Instead of rejoicing and looking forward to it, there's a chance her kid might get born inside jail. Do you want a boy or a girl? Uh, a healthy baby. A healthy baby, there you go. Good goal. Exactly. Thank you guys for not being hard today. Hard as you could have been. I appreciate it. I appreciate you putting the car in park and then nobody else got injured, okay? Yes. Thank you. That, that could have been bad. Okay. Okay. I'll tell you, next time, just stop, right? Because it's, it's going to go like this. Otherwise, it could have been a lot worse, right? Especially when you're pregnant, you don't want to be getting in an accident, okay? Yeah. All this mushy stuff is great, but remember it's supposed to foster cooperation. And even though there's plenty of surveillance footage, nothing beats an all-out confession. Watch as this cop tests the suspect, hoping she'll cooperate even more. Can we search your car today? Um, can we search it? Yes. I want to like you to search it. It's, it's not the end no, no, there. No, that's so fine. It's, it's a yes or no. No, I okay. don't want to. I, I, I was just kind of like gauging your level of cooperation. There's uh, stolen property in plain view, so that kind of opens uh, it up. Yeah, and we're told it's, it's already, too. it's already, y'all already. We, we, I was just looking to see, like, oh, like, she's going to Do you want to look at the trunk or something? Is there anything in the trunk? You can open it, go ahead, but it's, it's nothing in there. Okay. Well, one life for so, the car to be searched, it's not my car. I got you. So, because there's uh, stolen property in plain view, uh, that's why it's going to be searched in, because it has to get towed, it has to be searched anyway. Yeah, that, that's what I said, it's already going to be yeah. searched. I was just going to see, like, Oh, let's see how cooperative she's going to be. I mean, it was kind of like a test. Are you going to pass tests down the road? Like when we try to talk to you? To me. Be a little more cooperative? I'm not trying to make no. this a test or nothing. No, it's fine. Right, we're going to put you in the car over here, okay? The officers place the suspect in the car. She has an issue with the camera because she doesn't want her face recorded. But once the officers explained she'd been recorded this whole time, she accepted it without issues. But when she was left alone with the female cop, she tried to get more information about what's waiting ahead. Okay. Um, um, have you ever like been through this before? Like arresting anybody for like similar to this? For retail theft? Yes. Yeah. Could you tell me like how the process Yes, so you read your Miranda rights, is that correct? Yeah. Yes, okay, so obviously you know that you're under arrest and like they told you you're under arrest for a retail theft, okay? Um, so obviously the proceeds are in the car, which we've already, were able to see right away, mm -hmm. okay? And I believe your cooperation, did you already tell them that you did take some items from in the store today? I did, yes, okay. I did. So with that being said, that is kind of why you're under arrest today. Um, depending on who, um, I don't know if it's going to be myself, or we might have some other individuals that want to speak with you, okay, about this today. And we'll do that at the jail. We don't want to do it right out here because there's so many people. We just want to get you back there, air conditioned, get the process going. Because ultimately, you're going to come back to the Can I get boat. a jacket out of my car? I don't want to be cold while You I'm actually can't have one in the jail. We do have blankets, though. 
Okay. Okay, so. The officer focuses on cooperation and having her continue working with the cops and not against them. But my guess is what she really wanted to know is what would happen once she got to the jail. She also hints that not all of the suspects were at fault here, which is hard to believe. So, uh, I do want to ask, so if one of us didn't really have nothing to do with it, what would be done with them two, though? Like, would they be in as much as trouble as us? So I don't know who you're referencing, and I don't want to provide any information because you're not the individual. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you're if you're gonna to refer to somebody, you know, if you're in, in that situation, how do you got, how would you guys go about that though? We we like to speak with you. So ultimately, we're gonna ask to speak with every single one of you at the jail, okay? And if you're being cooperative and you want to speak with us, you know, and you can provide us that side of the story, then we can take that into consideration, okay? So hang tight for us. Okay, I'm gonna close this so the air stays in, and then if you need it to get colder, we can get it cooler for you. All right, and I'll keep. We'll come back and check on you periodically. Okay? We're not gonna be here much longer. Dario Rice, 19, Skylar Esco, also 19, and Jayla Alston, 20, were all arrested, getting charged with two counts of felony retail theft and one count of burglary. But Darielle also got charged with attempted criminal damage to government property and driving without a license. They were all released prior to trial, but it seems that Naperville police are still investigating the trio for possible involvement in other retail thefts, so new charges might be coming soon. Before I go, I would like to know which dumb criminal you like best and which one you thought was dumb beyond belief let me know in the comments below make sure you subscribe to the hidden files so you don't miss a thing